a simple search for stolen equipment or a violation of rights. When thousands of dollars worth of firefighting equipment went missing, Albuquerque firefighters took to the streets to find it. But the way they did it has some crying foul. News 13's Catherine Mazzone has the story. There doesn't seem to be any emergency, but these firefighters are obviously in a hurry. It's why one Albuquerque native got out her phone Monday and started recording. I saw um, the Albuquerque Fire Department randomly stopping anybody they saw on the street. The photographer asked we hide her identity. She says it happened near Dallas and Central. Firefighters questioning people on the street, searching their bags, even having them turn their pockets inside out. I was completely shocked. It was in complete violation of our constitutional rights. But AFD officials say she's got it all wrong. I think the, the YouTube video is a very poor depiction it, it, to insinuate that the firefighters were out there create, or, you know, doing something illegal, as it said in the video, you know, search and seizure. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Chief David Downey says the firefighters were at a briefing for a recent call. Afterwards, they came back to their trucks to find thousands worth of equipment missing. So they sort of scattered through the neighborhood. If this had just happened, maybe we could ask some questions and find some people if they saw anything suspicious and hope to retrieve the, the equipment. These are all the items that were stolen in addition to a few personal belongings. It amounts to about $7,000, including this $3,800 computer. These three items were never recovered. This is property of the city. The taxpayers buy this equipment for us. We have to be good stewards of that. Firefighters found their man, Daniel Littick, a short time later wearing the missing duffel as a backpack. Catherine Mazzone, KRQE News 13. AFD says it is not protocol to go out looking for lost or stolen items that the firefighters took it upon themselves to search for the equipment. They say APD is not investigating them for anything that happened Monday.